My main focus has been on the Enigma OCD Working Group. Uh, this group is led by the Professor Odile van den Heuvel of the Netherlands, and uh, my supervisor is the Professor Chun Su Kwon from South Korea. The Enigma OCD Working Group has been uh, submitted and uh, published the subcortical meta and mega analysis in the American Journal of Psychiatry and uh, processing the uh, steps for the publishing the next cortical meta and mega analysis study also and uh, as a second project uh, i and our group have been working on to progress and publish the uh, next project of individualized structural covariance project our uh, project of the individualized cortical subcortical covariance project has been participating a total of uh, 37 data sets worldwide, comprised of the total of 27 adult data sets, in addition to a total of 10 pediatric data sets uh, to be summed in more than uh, uh, 3,000 participants worldwide. The concept of the individualized structural covariance project is to uh, see how the brain lesion or the changed pattern of brain morphology covary all together in a person uh, so that we could more get into the profile of the changed brain morphology according to the, uh, their disease status or their uh, healthy control, uh, in addition to showing more uh, relationship between the uh, symptoms or the uh, duration of illness with the changed brain morphology. Uh, so that's the main concept of our uh, uh, study, and we hope to uh, broaden and uh, propagate our the unique concept of individualized structural covariance project into other disease groups of Enigma OCD also. This picture uh, shows the brief pipeline of the structural covariance, uh, I mean the individualized cortical subcortical structural covariance. From the T1 weighted image, uh, we use the free surfer uh, like other pipeline and uh, using this the Descan atlas and the subcortical nuclei, we came up with the uh, bilaterally uh, averaged uh, measures of the a total of 33 cortical surface value in addition to the 33 uh, cortical thickness value and the other eight subcortical nuclei volume. So using the Inos uh, MATLAB script to be displayed uh, later on, uh, we calculated individualized cortical subcortical structural covariance matrix for a total of uh, the uh, 379 subject, and finally, using the Brain Connectivity Toolbox, a well-known MATLAB script, uh, we calculated the global characteristics in addition to the regional characteristics to be finally integrated in a meta-analytical way. The main driving force was to uh, find what is the most core driving force of the, the distributed <coughs> brain alteration in patients with OCD encompassing the cortical surface area, cortical thickness, as well as the subcortical volume alteration? Because most studies uh, till now has been focused solely on the regional, regional brain area. So uh, <coughs> we try to circumvent that kind of regionality. Uh, and uh, we could uh, find some kind of the driving force, uh, uh, the gathering, grasping, the change uh, distributed pattern of brain alteration across the cortical and subcortical area to be published uh, hopefully in the uh, next uh, month uh, in the renowned journal. Uh, and the limitation during the process was there has been little study to try to meta-analytically integrate the, this kind of structural covariance result. Uh, so <coughs> for the uh, meta-analytic integration of the global characteristic, uh, we used the R script called metaphor and the regional characteristic, uh, we tried to preserve 
the regional distribution of important uh, brain area driving the distributed uh, uh, brain change. So we could <coughs> utilize the uh, coordinated meta-analytic integration, uh, which has been useful through the uh, uh, open source called the Ginger Ale. Uh, thanks for them. Uh, so using that kind of the uh, little innovation, we could circumvent the uh, problem of the meta-analytic integration of the result per data set. As a clinical psychiatrist, as well as the med, uh, researcher uh, focusing on the biomedical informatics in addition to neuroimaging, uh, I want to broaden and more explore the methodology of combining neuroimaging and uh, graph theory analysis in addition to the machine learning to get more fruitful information from already given data as much as possible. So I could uh, broaden my uh, scope of covariance other than the structural covariance uh, into the field of <coughs> multimodal imaging, uh, such as combining the T1-weighted image to DTI or the T1-weighted image to resting state data so that they are not end up into uh, <coughs> com uh, comparing uh, two separated data in an article, I could, uh, I think I could uh, the, uh, decipher their correlated relationship across two different modality. And uh, in terms of clinical and uh, neuropsychological data also, uh, we could uh, calculate some kind of intra-individual variance of the different characteristic so that we combine <coughs> more uh, integrated or the dynamic relationship of the clinical phenomena in the brain also. It could be too grandiose. However, uh, as much as I can and as much as I can be educated and be guided other researchers through a cooperation, I, I think I, we could make it in the near future. <laughs>